So friends, once again I welcome you all here with a new video, Indian English Literature. Top questions I have outlined here for the NTA UGC NET English 2020 exams. So let's move on. Uh, the first question that I have outlined here is, in which play do we see a reworking of E.M. Forster's passage to India as a cameo? And the answer is Indian Ink. So it is Indian Ink, the work in which we can see the reworking of E.M. Forster's passage to India. Okay, very well known work by E.M. Forster, it is uh, Passage to India and uh, we can see a reworking of his Passage to India as a cameo in Indian ink. Okay, some of the part is seen in Indian ink. Then, which writer asserted Commonwealth literature does not exist? So, it was Salman Rushdie. Salman Rushdie is a kind of revolutionary writer, a novelist. Okay. And he one asserted that Commonwealth literature does not exist. Then, who wrote the essay Naipaul's India and Mine? It was Nizim Ezekiel. Nizim Ezekiel uh, wrote one work. It is one work by Nizim Ezekiel in response to Naipaul's work on India. Okay, so the essay. Naipaul's India and Mine is written by Nizim Ezekiel. Then, after the publication of which work, a fatwa was issued in Salman Rushdie's name. It was Satanic Verses. Yes, friends. So, Satanic Verses uh, is a work, a great work by Salman Rushdie. After uh, this work, after the publication of this work, a fatwa from Muslim community was issued in Salman Rushdie's name because they are uh, they became angry uh, by reading this uh, uh, work by Salman Rushdie. As I stated, Salman Rushdie is a kind of revolutionary writer, and uh, that's why he wrote something that can be not uh, accept uh, acceptable for uh, those people. So they issued. Fatwa in the name of Salman Rushdie after the publication of Satanic Verses. Then you are Anand Murthy. You are Anand Murthy's Samskara was translated by A.K. Ramanujan. A.K. Ramanujan translated the work of you are Anand Murthy's uh, Samskara. Samskara is the work by Anand Murthy. And the translation is done by A.K. Ramanujan into English. Then, 13th December reader, The Stranger Case of the Attack on the Indian Parliament is written by Arundhati Roy. So friends, Arundhati Roy is very well known personality in Indian English literature. Okay, and she wrote one uh, work, 13th December a reader, and the full title is like that, uh, the, the Stranger Case of the Attack on the Indian Parliament. Then, The Suicide Looping Glass and the Freaks are the works by which literary figure who was famous for short poems and short story writer. It was Kamla Das. Yes, friends. Kamla Das was the uh, great uh, Indian English writer who wrote uh, The Suicide Looping Glass and the Freaks. Okay. And uh, uh, these are very famous short uh, poems and short stories by Kamala Das. Actually, uh, Kamala Das was famous for short stories and short poems. Then, who served as a special assistant to the Under Secretary General for Peace? It was Shashi Tharoor. Shashi Tharoor once served as a special assistant to the Under Secretary General for Peace. Then, a poem the Angel of Misfortune of about 5,000 lines written by Nagesh Viswanath Pai. It narrates the story of, the answer is King Vikramaditya. So, the story of King Vikramaditya is narrated by Nagesh Viswanath Pai in 
his uh, poem the angel of misfortune and in this poem are about 5000 lines are there narrated by nagesh vishwanath about the story of king Vish vikramaditya then the next question is gauri is my tribute to indian womanhood in which novel does mulk raj anand depict gauri the character of gauri and the novel is the old woman and the crow the old woman and the crow is a novel by mulk raj anand and he has depicted the character of gauri and the character symbolizes uh, indian womanhood yes and uh, it is uh, uh, his tribute to indian womanhood in uh, his work the old woman and the crow then identify the poet of our kesurina tree kesurina tree which is considered as a splendid kitsian poem it was torudat yes torudat is a poet uh, and uh, his one poem our kesurina tree is considered as the splendid kitsian poem uh, it has some element it has some characteristics of kitsian poem that's why it is called as a splendid kitsian poem our kesurina tree by toru dat then whose autobiography is entitled as my father's son it was dom mores dom mores once wrote an autobiography entitled as my father's son so it is an autobiography of dom mores then ramesh chandar dat arvindo ghosh and toru dat all wrote on a common theme taken from the mahabharata the story is based on the answer is savitri so the story of savitri or the stories based on savitri are depicted by all these three writers ramesh chandar dat arvindo ghosh and toru dat so all these three writers are sharing the common theme taken from the mahabharata and the theme of savitri uh, appears in mahabharata we can uh, say that okay so the theme taken from mahabharata is savitri and it is shared by ramesh chandar dat arvindo ghosh and toru dat then which indian writer is the first recipient of the sahitya academy award for english literature so the first recipient of sahitya academy award for english literature literary writing okay and the first indian writer so the answer is r k narayan r k narayan is uh, uh, the indian writer who got the sahitya academy award for his writings in english language then identify the work of arun kolatkar which won the commonwealth poetry prize it was jezuri jezuri is a work by arun kolatkar kolatkar which won for him the commonwealth poetry prize then in which novel rk narayan focused on family planning it was the painter of signs the painter of signs uh, is a work by rk narayan a great novel by him which is narrating uh, or discussing the family planning issues okay so uh, the novel is uh, focusing on family planning by rk narayan which is the first book by an indian in english by whom so here we have to answer two different things which book and by whom so travels of dean mohammed by sheikh dean mohammed published in 1793 so this book is considered as the first book first indian book into english language okay and it is travels of dean mohammed and written by sheikh dean mohammed and it was published in 1793 mohammed's travel narrative 
uh, is uh, described here in this particular book. Then the first novel in Indian English is the answer is Rajmohan's Wife by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, published in 1864. So this particular novel is considered as the first novel in English by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Okay, and it was appeared in 1864, the year of 1864. Then Brahmonical magazine in English was published in 1821 by the answer is Raja Ram Mohan Rai. Raja Ram Mohan Rai published a Brahmanical magazine in English language in 1821. <coughs> then who started, sorry, who stated that the trio of Raja Rao, Mulkraj Anand and R.K. Narayan laid the foundation of Indian novel. It was William Walsh. William Walsh once uh, stated that the trio of Raja Rao, Mulkraj Anand and R.K. Narayan, uh, according to him, uh, the, this trio established the foundation of Indian novel in English language. Next, which title George V, the British king, gave to Rabindranath Tagore, which he gave up? in 1919 in protest against the Nevala Bagh massacre. The answer is knighthood. So friends here, uh, Rabindranath Tagore returned or gave up that uh, knighthood title in protest against the Nevala Bagh massacre. And this title was given to him by George V, the British king before independence. Okay. It was around 1900 years. So it was given by George V, but Rabindranath Tagore returned it in the protest against Chaliwala Bagh massacre in 1919. Then, and the title was uh, Knighthood. Then identify the writer who began career as a script writer and who was awarded Van Booker Prize for God of Small Things in 1997. So here the writer is Arundhati Roy. Arundhati Roy just uh, wrote one book, God of Small Things, and published it in 1997. And uh, because of this book, the great book written by her, she was awarded Man Booker Prize. Okay, and uh, uh, Arundhati Roy. Uh, started her career as a script writer in fact okay so she started her career as a script writer and then uh, wrote many novels and because of her great novels she was awarded man booker prize for uh, her uh, very well known novel god of small things in 1997 then in which work Arundhati Roy gave her opinion about the Narmada Dam project and the explosion of India's first nuclear bomb. So here the answer is the cost, the cost of living. The cost of living published in 1999. So Arundhati Roy once wrote a novel uh, and described her opinion about the Narmada, Narmada Dam project and the explosion of India's first nuclear bomb in the novel The Cost of Living in 1999. Then, how many lyrics are there in the first major collection of poems named Golden Threshold by Sarojini Naidu? So here friends, uh, three different uh, poems uh, collections are written by or published by Sarojini Naidu. So first one is Golden Threshold by her. Okay. And this particular collection contains different 40 lyrics. 40 different lyrics are there in the first collection of uh, her poems. Okay. And it was published in 1905 with 40 lyrics on different subjects okay then how many lyrics are there in the second collection of poems named 
the bird of time by sarojini naidu so here once again the second collection of poems by sarojini naidu the title of that collection is the bird of time and it has different 46 lyrics in it and it was published in 1912 okay the bird of time a collection of poems by sarojini naidu was published in 1912 with 46 lyrics uh, and the theme of these poems is love the love theme is used by her in this collection of poems then how many lyrics are there in the third collection of poems named the broken wing by sarojini naidu so <coughs> sorry so here the third collection is there the broken wing by sarojini naidu published in 1917 okay with 61 different lyrics and we can find the indian spirit in this collection of poems the indian spirit is described by sarojini naidu in her poems uh, in this third collection named as the broken wing with 61 lyrics and as we know that sarojini naidu is also called the nightingale of india okay then identify the writer who was influenced by andri melorot's novels and aesthetic essays so here andri uh, melorot's uh, novels and aesthetic essays are there and are read by raja rao okay and he was just influenced by his novels and aesthetic essays uh, his uh, uh, major novels i can identify here his uh, novels are Kanthapura is there, then uh, the Kate and uh, Cat and Shakespeare is there, then Cow of Barricades. So these are the different novels by him. Then in all her works, a reader can find an autobiographical element. Who is that writer? So here we have to find out one writer who wrote with autobiographical elements in her writings. So Kamla Das is there. Kamla Das wrote about her own story, her own life story uh, as, uh, as novels. Okay. So in her works, we can find out uh, his, uh, her own life stories. Uh, that's why we can say uh, we find an autobiographical element in all her works. Then identify the writer who won the Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for her stories in Malayalam. So Kamala Das once again is there. Uh, Kamala Das is the writer who won the Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for her stories in Malayalam language. Okay, and she also received the Asian uh, Pen Anthology for poetry. Asian Pen Anthology for poetry. So here, Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for the stories in Malayalam was won by Kamala Das and for poetry, she won Asian Pen Anthology. Then, Maya, a spoiled and stout daughter is the heroine of which novel by Anita Desai? The answer is Cry the Peacock. Cry the Peacock is a great uh, novel by Anita Desai, Anita Desai, well-known writer in English, and uh, Cry the Peacock is her first novel, published in 1963. It is her first novel, and Maya is the heroine of this story, and she is described as a spoiled and stout daughter here. Okay, and uh, uh, the novel, the novel Cry the Peacock is describing the psychological dilemma of uh, Maya. Okay, Maya's inner psyche. The psychological dilemma is described here by the uh, novelist Anita Desai here. Then the problem of alienation is faced by the characters Dev and Adit in London. Identify the novel. The answer is Bye Bye Blackbird. So Bye Bye Blackbird is also a novel written by Anita Desai published in 1970. 
and in this novel the problem of alienation is faced by the characters dev and adit when they they were living in dandan the state of being a foreigner you can say okay <coughs> then which novel e by anita desai forces us to think about the decline of urdu language so the answer is in custody 1984 so in this particular novel anita desai forced us to think about the decline of urdu language uh, and it was published in 1984 in custody okay in in this particular novel she described the, about the decline decline of urdu language and the uh, uh, protagonist or the main character of this novel is deven sharma deven sharma is the uh, uh, character here in this particular novel then which of girish kannad's play got the natya shri award for the best play in 1971 the answer is hayavadana hayavadana published in 1970 by girish kannad girish kannad is a very famous personality in indian english writing and uh, as a dramatist he was very well known so girish kannad's play hayavadana got the award natya shri for the best play okay in 1971 after the publication of uh, hayavadana uh, uh, he got this award and hayavadana is uh, a story on hindu myth then which play of kannad is based on the folk tales of karnataka so once again folk tales are used here by kannad girish kannad as a story and uh, the answer is nagamandala nagamandala is a story uh, a play by karnad and which is based on folk tales of karnataka state then identify the writer who was who was also known as the walking encyclopedia on knowing many languages so here we can say the writer the uh, the answer is harindranath chattopadhyay a brother of sarojini naidu so harindranath chattopadhyay uh, was a well was well known personality because uh, he knows uh, uh, many languages and he can he could speak many languages that's why uh, it he was known as walking encyclopedia and harindranath was also a brother of sarojini naidu in fact he was a scientist and a well known writer of his time harindranath chattopadhyay then which literary magazine was edited by amrita pritham which she also ran together with imrose so nagmani nagmani is the name of that magazine literary magazine which was edited by amrita pritham along with imrose okay so as an editor amrita pritham worked for the literary magazine nagmani then the character of puro appears in pinjar so pinjar means the skeleton spinjar was published in 1950 and it is very famous novel of amrita pritham uh, written around 1950 published in 1950 and the character of puro appears there in this novel very memorable character here and uh, uh, before some years chandra prakash divedi was there uh, who made an award winning hindi film a hindi film was also made uh, on this novel pinjar with the same name okay with the same title and uh, urmila matondkar Uh, played the role of puro here in this movie then amrita pritham published many collection of poems including immortal waves people's anguish which of her work is considered as the autobiography narrating her love with sahir it was revenue stamp so friends revenue stamp rasidi ticket rasidi ticket is the translation in uh, punjabi language so uh, revenue stamp is the autobiography of amrita pritham 
describing her love with Sahir Ludhianvi. Okay. In fact, there are uh, two or three autobiographies by Amrita Pritam, but in this particular autobiography, the love with Sahir Ludhianvi is described by Amrita Pritam here. Okay. And uh, along with this, she has published many collection of poems, including Immortal Waves and People's Anguish. Then, whose column with malice towards on and all regularly contains secular preaches and messages of peace. So, Kushwant Singh is the right answer. Kushwant Singh, very well known Punjabi writer in Indian English language, he wrote column with malice towards on and all. And uh, this particular column contains secular preaches by him and messages for peace. So he wrote about uh, secular preaches and messages for peace in this particular column named with malice towards on and all. Then the next one is which writer won the Sahitya Academy Award for that long silence in 1990? So it was Shashi Deshpande. And this particular work got him uh, the Sahitya Academy Award, the Great Award of India, Sahitya Academy Award for this novel, uh, That Long Silence by Shashi Deshpande. And Shashi Deshpande also got, uh, also awarded with Padma Sri in 1990 and 2009. So, along with this award, he was also awarded with Padma Sri award. Then, identify the writer who, uh, identify the writer also known as the cosmopolitan writer winning the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2001. So, the answer is V.S. Naipaul. V.S. Naipaul is considered as a cosmopolitan writer winning the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2001. V.S. Naipaul won the Nobel Prize in 2001 for in English Literature. Then, which writer started his career as an author of short stories and composed the children's plays? Okay, so the answer here is Vijay Tendulkar. Vijay Tendulkar, in fact, composed many children's plays. And uh, his, his career was started as an author of uh, short stories. He wrote many short stories and then after he started writing children's plays. Then Toru Dutt's first novel in English entitled as Bianca is also known as The Young Spanish Maiden published posthumously. So friends here Bianca is the title of Torudas's first novel. Okay, Torudas's first novel is Bianca in English language, and it is also known as the Young Spanish Maiden, and it it is the another name of another title of that novel, Bianca. Okay, so Bianca, the Young Spanish Maiden. Okay, and this particular novel was published after the death of Torudas published posthumously. Then, Bakha. Bakha, the hero belongs to the downtrodden race, appears in Untouchable by Bulkraj Anand. So here, uh, Bakha is the character of the work of Bulkraj Anand. And this character belongs to the downtrodden race, appeared in the Untouchable, the first novel by Mulkaraj Anand. Very well known and popular novel it is by Mulkaraj Anand. And Bakha is the main character of this novel. Then, who is called as last British imperialist and last of the Brown Sahibs? It was Nirad Chaudhary. Nirad Chaudhary is considered as last British imperialist and last of brown sahibs okay so nirat chaudhary is there uh, who is called with these different name phrases last british imperialist and brown sahibs then nirat chaudhary won 
the Sahitya Academy for his work on Max Muller. So, friends, Neeraj Chaudhary once again is there. He won uh, Sahitya Academy Award for his great work on Max Muller. Max Muller is a great personality, a thinker. On him, he wrote one work and uh, Neeraj Chaudhary won Sahitya Academy for that particular work. Then identify the writer famous as the father of post independence English verse and also responsible for starting modernity in Indian English poetry. So the answer is Nizim Ezekiel. Nizim Ezekiel is the writer who is famous as the father of post independence English verse and also responsible for starting modernity in Indian English poetry. So here two things are there. Uh, he is considered the, the father of post-independence English verse. After independence, whatever poetry is written, he is considered as a father of that poetry. Okay. Then also responsible for starting modernity in Indian English poetry. So modern ideas, modernity is just uh, emerged after independence with the poetry of Nizim Ezekiel in Indian English poetry uh, and one his collection is there his collection of poems uh, title is a time to change a time to change is a great collection by Nizim Ezekiel then the MacArthur Prize fellowship was awarded in 1993 to AK Ramanujan so uh, this particular uh, prize fellowship MacArthur was Award it to A.K. Ramanujan. A.K. Ramanujan is great personality and uh, he was also awarded Padma Sri along with this and uh, this particular prize was awarded to him in 1993. Then who has translated Ramayana and Mahabharata into English? So here Ramesh, Ramesh Chandar Dutt is there who translated Ramayana and Mahabharata into English language. Then the next one is, which novel of Amitav Ghosh is based on the result of non-British India? So there is one novel written by Amitav Ghosh and it is The Shadow Lines published in 1988. Amitav Ghosh is uh, uh, his first novel is the circle of reason and uh, the shadow lines is his another novel uh, uh, which is based on the result of not british india and it was published in 1988 then the narrative style of salman rushdie's midnight's children shows the influence of magic realism then summer in calcutta is a volume of poems by Kamla Das. So Kamla Das once again is there uh, with a volume of poems and she uh, wrote a, a Summer in Calcutta, a great volume of poems. Then Nayantara Sahigal's memoir on the Indian independence is known as the answer is Prison and Chocolate Cake. Prison and Chocolate Cake is a great memoir uh, on the Indian independence written by Nayantara Sahigal. Whose lines are these? Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let me let my country awake. It is stated by Rabindranath Tagore. So Rabindranath Tagore once uh, uh, described these lines into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Then the last question of today's video is who propounded the theory of Vakrakti in Indian aesthetics? Uh, it is regarding the literature on the whole of uh, Indian literature. Okay, so it is uh, Kuntaka. Kuntaka is, uh, uh, is the person who propounded the theory of Vakrakti in Indian aesthetics. Sometimes such questions are also asked uh, beyond English literature because this question is related to Sanskrit literature. Okay, but on the whole, it is related to Indian literature. 
and as uh, the new syllabus uh, uh, is uh, out for UGC NET, we can see their world literature is included. Okay, so such we we have to be ready for such questions from Indian English literature or Indian literature on the whole. So friends, that's all for today. These are some of the videos I have created on uh, UGC NET English literature exams. And not for only UGC NET, for set exams of different states regarding uh, the lecturership or assistant professor uh, job. Okay, and for PhD entrance and MPhil entrance tests, as well as uh, these uh, these videos will help in the exams of KVS and NVS, as well as CTET. Okay, wherever English literature is asked, uh, wherever it is as a topic. Uh, these videos will going to help you a lot. So friends, uh, these are social media platforms as I have stated earlier also. So you can follow me on these platforms. So friends, that's all for today. Uh, for the next video, uh, I'll, I'm going to plan for post-colonial literature in English. So wait for one more day. I will post that video as well. So that's all for today and thank you very much.